crazy world we live in. A worker hit by gunfire inside a grocery store. Tonight, investigators release a critical clue they say that could lead them to an arrest. And that is our top story at six. Thanks for joining us. I'm Regina Mobley. And I'm David Allen. Virginia Beach detectives say they want to talk to the man in this surveillance video. We're told a worker was shot just after midnight inside the Harris Teeter on Farrell Parkway. 13 News Now reporter Adriana de Alba has more on the changes already taking place at the store. Normally, this grocery store is open 24 hours, but after the shooting early this morning, that's no longer the case. This grocery store is changing its hours permanently. It'll be closing tonight at 10 and opening tomorrow morning at 6 instead of staying open overnight. Tonight, police are working to identify three men who came into this Harris Teeter on Farrell Parkway just after midnight. They tried to rob the store but failed. But before leaving, they shot a man working here. The crime has shoppers feeling pretty shaken up. It's very it's scary to hear that at, at the grocery store of all places. It's also making her question if she'll keep shopping at this store. I know they're actually opening up a Harris Teeter closer to our house, so we might start frequenting that one in the future. But um, for now, I mean, just not coming at night, coming in the morning is definitely going to be more of a priority. The three suspects were wearing dark clothes and face masks. Police also need help identifying this man. He's a person of interest who might have information about the three suspects who came into the store just before one in the morning. Sometimes when I come too, I, it could have been me. I'm, I'm shocked that, it, that it's so close to home. We reached out to Harris Teeter about the crime. A spokesperson for the company says, quote, we regret this incident occurred inside our store and we are extremely grateful that our valued associates injuries do not appear to be life threatening. Police need your help identifying the three suspects. If you have any information about the crime, you're asked to call the crime line at 1 888 Lock You Up. In Virginia Beach, Adriana de Alba, 13 News Now. We're learning more about a deadly triple shooting in Portsmouth. We brought you this as breaking news on daybreak. Since then, we've learned the victim was just 16 years old. Family members say DeMonte Faircloth and two others were hit by gunfire on Jefferson Street. Now police say officers will be out in the community to help those people heal. 13 News Now reporter Chenu Her picks up the story. That shooting happened right here on Jefferson Street, not far from where the family lives. They tell me tonight they are heartbroken and devastated over what happened to this 16 year old. Even a day later, I was very upset and I was very emotionally disturbed. Jeffrey Holmes is still upset, his mind racing after someone gunned down three people near his house, killing a 16 year old. I was traumatized. I, I'm home and I'm looking at this TV. I wake up in the morning and that's all I hear right down the street from me. Not far down the street from him is Latoya Wright, just as upset and traumatized. The 16 year old was DeMonte Faircloth. He was shot along with two other men. Latoya is DeMonte's cousin and also his legal guardian. He died, but the men survived. I've been having DeMonte since he was three weeks old, and I, I raised him like my son. I have to be strong because, you know, that his mother, like, that's her child. So I have to be strong because I have to be the one, you know, to go for it and make sure he has a proper burial. A heartbreaking outcome for a kid Latoya says had a lot to live for. He wanted to go to uh, VCU. You know, he had dreams of going to college. He told his mom just the other day, like, I want to go to college, mom, you know? It's just too late. It's too late. Too late for his mourning family, but not for others. They hope they can help. Like the streets, it's just, it's not worth it. It's not. Your mom, you leave your mom out here having to bury you. It's just, it's hard. The family says they could use some help right now with giving DeMonte a proper burial. So they've set up a GoFundMe account. If you'd like to help, we have a link to that on 13newsnow.com. In Portsmouth, Chinu Hurt, 13 News Now. And detectives are still searching for leads in both cases. If you know anything that could help them make an arrest, give the crime line a call. Your tip could earn you a $1,000 reward. We have an update on the breaking news we brought you yesterday in Hampton. Police say Courtney Dwayne Thomas died in yesterday's shooting, but the circumstances are still under investigation. This incident unfolded at the Phoebus Auction Gallery, where Thomas worked. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens has the latest developments. Tonight we're learning more about the man who police say tragically lost his life in Hampton. It's just sad. Police found Courtney Thomas shot to death inside the Phoebus auction gallery. Investigators say one employee was holding a gun when it went off. 
hitting Thomas. I still can't believe it. I spoke with several of Thomas's friends over the phone. They all describe him as a good guy. He was in the video in card games. Thomas spent many Saturdays at Atomic Comics with a group of friends. He uh, helped us get those things down the stairs over at the auction house. Sonia Lopez is the co-owner of Kiss My Denim, just right across the street. She knows Thomas and the other employee. Both helped her. This is one of the tables that they had, you know. They had given us and, you know, we had spray painted and uh, stuff like that. According to Phoebus Auction Gallery's Facebook page, it auctions off guns. Police haven't said if one of those guns may have been involved. Officers haven't charged Thomas's co-worker. Tonight, there are many unanswered questions. And it breaks my heart because I know it was, you know, an accident, an unfortunate accident. And I grieve for, you know, both parties. I spoke to one woman who says she lived with Thomas. She says Thomas had no family in the area and she quickly became like a mother to Thomas. She declined to go on camera. In the exact circumstances surrounding this shooting, still under investigation. In Hampton, I'm Nico Clemens, 13 News Now. Developing in Norfolk charges and the brutal death of a child moved forward in circuit court. A grand jury handed down indictments for Latoya Smith and her boyfriend, DeMont Harris. Both are accused in the death of Smith's daughter, Heaven Watkins. We learned plea hearings are scheduled for both Smith and Harris in the coming weeks. We also uncovered prosecutors intend to bring another indictment against Harris. We're told it will be another child abuse and neglect charge dealing with incidents around Heaven's death. Heaven was just 11 years old when investigators say she was beaten to death. The Virginia Beach mother who sparked a nationwide search when she went missing last year faces new criminal charges tonight. Monica Lamping was indicted this week on two felony animal cruelty charges. They stem from two pets dying in a house fire Lamping is accused of setting. Police say she later ran off to a remote Echo Village with her two children. The puppy and cat that died belonged to Monica's old roommate. Courtney Bullock says she was gone when the fire started. The animals were left in her room with the doors closed. Knowing that the house was on fire in general and knowing that there are animals in that room, open the door. Give them a chance to try to get out of the room, but she didn't. So I, I, I totally agree that torture is very fitting. Now we reached out to Lamping's lawyer but did not hear back. Lamping is in back in court at the end of next month. Right now the search continues for a missing Norfolk woman. Take a close look at your screen. This is Penny Ann Ridley. She hasn't been seen since Friday night. Investigators tell 13 News Now Ridley was last seen leaving Sentara Princess Anne Hospital in Virginia Beach. We're told she's in desperate need of her medication. If you see her, call police.